Hi, it's me again. Um, okay, this is in response to um, how to. Uh, all right, this is in response to um, single moms dating. Um, I think when you're a single mom and you're dating, uh, I think you should probably like be friends with the person for a while first. I mean, I'm just speaking from experience. Some things that I didn't do in the past that's got me stuck <laughs> or whatever, but um. Yeah, you should like when you're dating, you should like be friends first, like for a while, or just talk. I mean, if the person really wants to get to know you or whatever, they'll be friends with you first or whatever, and they'll wait. If you know, you could tell them, you know, my intentions are to be more than friends or whatever, but you know, I just think that we should take it slow or whatever. If they agree, then they really want to get to know you. If they don't agree, then, uh, chances are they're not planning on keeping you there that long you're just there for a reason and the reason is not good or whatever and um okay and also when you're already in the relationship you know well not in the relationship but like you're going towards it i think that um you should uh make sure that you know the person knows how many kids you have and you know what i'm saying and they should actually just know that you have kids and also they should be able to accept your children or whatever if you were to ever get serious or whatever you know and um I also think too that you know you should get to know the person before you bring your children around them because you know some kids will think that um oh that's my daddy or whatever then they'll call you know then the next person you date they'll be like oh um, calling him his name or you know I just seen a lot of stuff I mean I haven't did my own kids like that or whatever you know they've only been around like um hmm they've only been around <clears throat> excuse me they've only been around one of my boyfriends or whatever and that was someone that I thought was it was going to go far but you know um it kind of ended you know so you know uh they've been around They've been around the other kids' dads, but that was because they visited the other children, so that was fine. But I explained to them, you know, that's, you know, I say, um, that's, you know, that's so-and-so's dad or whatever. It's not your dad or whatever. But, um, other than that, yeah, you should make sure that that's the person that you want around your kid. And you should make sure that that child, that, um, person is going to be there for a while or whatever other than that if they're not then you know saying they don't need to know them they don't they don't need to get to know them they don't need to stop playing with them and liking them because you know they're not going to be there um forever or whatever i mean some people you might have as friends like i have guy friends who are you know strictly friends in my life you know and you know um i'm like yeah this is my friend Derek. this is this is this is your friend too or whatever you know like that or whatever but um yeah and also when you're dating and you're a single mom like i i have a schedule i had a schedule like when i was dating you know monday tuesday wednesday thursday and sometimes fridays was like strictly for my kids you know i'm not coming out to meet you anywhere i'm not doing anything or whatever and that's final and it's like on saturdays and sundays you know we can hang out i mean some fridays i went out because come on it's friday or whatever but um like saturdays and sundays i would go out or whatever or i might just go out one day that week you know depending on how tired i was but um another thing if the guy does not want to respect your schedule then nine times out of ten he's just there for one thing or whatever and the thing is not good or whatever so but a person who really wants to talk to you they'll respect your schedule or whatever they'll want to be patient with your time to get to know you and stuff because you know they're all there for you or whatever and that's what you want someone for you you want someone for you and like some people some women want are looking for men for their kids and stuff and it's like okay when they sign up to date you they're not signing up to be your child's father first of foremost they're signing up for you first after y'all say that you're gonna be in a commitment and stuff that's when you can say okay um you know you can meet my kids and see if he wants to you know you know kind of dibble and dabble in that or whatever of being 
you know, somewhat in their lives or whatever. <clears throat> but, um, yeah, like, the guys don't sign up for your kids or whatever, you know. This is, the guy is there for you first. And then, if y'all become more, like, husband and wife or fiancé or committed, that's when you can introduce him to your kid's life. And that's when you can be like, okay, you know, you want to be there for my kid too, for me, or whatever. But, yeah, first and foremost, it's like when they say when you get married or whatever. Um, it's it's about your kids, too, but, you know what I'm saying, it's about your husband first. But in the boyfriend-girlfriend thing, boyfriend don't come for your kids or whatever. But I'm just saying, like, they're not signing up for your kid or whatever. They're signing up for you. And also, um, hmm, what was I going to say? I just, like, totally went blank. <gasps> Um, hmm. Oh, and if you have like old fashioned mothers or old fashioned grandmothers that tell you, oh, you're not doing this right, you're not doing this right, you know what I'm saying? Don't make you, don't let it make you feel down or whatever, because like sometimes, like sometimes, okay, this is what I will say. Like sometimes when you get real deep, deep, deep in a relationship and you've been going out for a while or whatever, and you might, um, and your kids might go stay away with their parents, their other parents or whatever. And you might have like the summer to go somewhere or something like that. And they'll be like, oh, you're always sending your my kids away and all that other stuff. You know, you know, just black it out because it's like they're your kids and you do what you want to do with them or whatever. You know, it's okay to have a, you know, a, a two or three month vacation and you can go spend it with your friend, your boyfriend or your friends or take some time for you. I mean some of us don't get no time for us through the year you know what i'm saying we have to stay in the house you know with the kids i mean even though it was your choice still you know you still deserve some kind of away time because i know i do but um but yeah you have some old time i mean a lot of those old old-fashioned people they have a lot of good advice but like what they have to understand is that we are a new generation we have new we have new standards of how we do things or whatever as to where back then it would look wrong it's like okay it's new day new time my generation not yours or whatever but yeah um that's all i have to say about that and uh if you have any questions or want me to do anything else you know just send me a message or whatever and uh i holla peace